So I'm going to make this video real quick. Hopefully it will help somebody out there. So I bought some M.2 drives at Walmart, which I find on sale for $25. You can see it down there. No matter what I did, that M.2 was visible in the BIOS, but Windows did not see it. I was getting fr rather frustrated. I tried about six different methods. You know, I'm scouring Google, I'm scouring YouTube, kind of like begging. Somebody help me. Help me figure this damn thing out. Uh, the controller and everything would show it in Windows. It just when I would go to open my folder, all it showed was a C drive. There was no D drive. It's there now. Let me show you how I did it. Yeah, as I was coming in here to disk to uh, disk management, that was not showing up. The only thing that was showing up was disk one. I added it through control panel. That is like old school Windows. And it worked. Okay, I've been struggling trying to do this because I'm trying to hold this camera. I'm trying to type. Anyway, come down here to the search bar. Type in control panel. Then when you get into control panel, you come up here into the upper right. Type in storage space. Then storage space will come in. Manage storage spaces. Create a storage space, add drives. Yeah, I've already added it. Can I go back? Oh, it's create. It's create a storage space. Name your drive. Mine is D. Uh, file system, NTFS. You can go two-way mirror, and it says right there, two-way mirror storage writes two copies of your data. I don't really want that, kind of useless, so I went with simple. Then you come down here, create storage drive, and then it find my D drive. And now I have a C drive, a one terabyte C drive, and a one terabyte, or 500 gigabyte. There we go, local disk, one terabyte, storage space. I could name it, I don't care what it's named, it's there. But now I have one and a half terabyte on this new computer. I wish I made this video more professional, but like I said, I tried like six or seven different methods. I'm searching Google, I'm searching YouTube, and I have been playing with computers for a long time. Control panel, that control panel that comes up is kind of old. You're going back to like uh, Windows 95, Windows 98, Windows XP, but it's still in there. This method worked for me. I'm not certain it'll work for you, but it worked for me. It's an option to try. Good luck with it. So in conclusion of this video, if this method worked for you, please leave a like. I don't, I don't care if you subscribe. I'm just this was frustrating. I messed with this for hours. Leave a like, leave a comment, whether it worked for you or not. And I hope it works. Like I said, I was struggling. I was getting frustrated. I was getting aggravated. But this method worked for me. Uh, old school control panel. Going back 15, 20 years. And I, like, there was numerous... Uh, instructions when you go through Google. There's numerous videos on YouTube. This worked for me. Okay, I hope it works for you. Apparently this is a common problem with Windows 11 and different methods work for different people. I felt that like this was pretty simple and the only reason I was able to remember this, to, to, to go back to this, uh, like I said, I've been playing with it. My first computer was a 286 with a 20 meg hard drive. I think it had 512K RAM in it. Uh, so I got a lot to draw on, but sometimes it doesn't come up as quick as it should. <laughs> I'm getting older. But like I said, please leave a comment if this worked for you. Uh, 
If you have a better method, I have no problems with you leaving a comment on that. Okay, that's it. Just a quick little ad. Who remembers the good old days of DOS when you added a hard drive? All you had to do was move a jumper and put it to slave and then plug that thing into your motherboard, put the power in, plug the IDE cable in, and boom. I like Windows 11. There's some issues with it.